Welcome to my top 5 creams for type 4 coily hair. If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back. Oh my, I'm who? I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal color specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, we are doing top 5 best creams for coily hair type 4. So if you want to find out what creams I like to use on my clients, what creams I think are good and do the job and are used for either wash and go technique or styling techniques like bantu knots or twist out, then you better keep on watching. What is the story everyone? In today's film we are talking all about creams for type 4 coily hair and I got a lot of questions about creams and today we are really just talking about creams because I did do a full film on curly hair products but today we are concentrating on creams. So we are going to be talking about creams that are the best for wash and go techniques so you're going to hear me talking a lot about the lock technique LOC which stands for for leave-in and conditioner oil and cream so that's a, my wash and go technique that I always go to and we are going to be also talking about products that are fine very good for if I'm doing a bantu knot or a client or a double twist or a flat twist. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think in America you call them a twist out. We call them a double twist or a flat twist. So just let me know in the comment section down below. But I do think that in America they call them a twist out. So if you hear me saying a double twist or a flat twist, I um, think I'm referring to a twist out. So we have a few creams that I found very good that I do use on my clients. And when it comes to my everyday work in a salon, I'd like to be quite neat so I have everything in trolley so I'm like right this is my one trolley with all my brushes and heater to and heater tools and then I have another trolley that I just have everything for type 3 and 4 hair so I have a full drawer of creams full drawer of oils full drawer of my equipment of my comb so I have my picks I have my heater tools that I need I do have edge control all that kind of stuff I keep it in a separate trolley so when I have a client with type 4 or 3 hair I can just literally whip out that trolley and I have everything there whether it's a leave-in conditioner oil cream or what's or not and I can really play around with it so so I picked out five creams that I think that work the best and those are creams I use on the daily on my clients. So let's get right into it with cream number one. Shea Moisture Strength and Restore Leave-In -in Conditioner. So you guys, when it comes to creams in general, when it comes to this cream, I absolutely adore this cream. Shea Moisture is absolutely brilliant. As you can see, you guys, this has been used quite a lot. But what is so amazing about this cream, this cream is brilliant. This cream is very smooth and it is very nourishing. It's gonna control the frizz, add smoothness and shine to the hair. Obviously we have shea butter, which is amazing for nourishment and we also have castor oil in this. What do I like using this cream for? This cream for is my a go-to. Do you know the kind of way? It's nearly the one I'd always reach out for if I don't know what to reach out for because every hair is different and I, t and I find with coily hair in particular every hair reacts differently to a different product but I find like this one is a good overall. So if I'm doing a lock technique LOC so if I'm layering my products I'll start off with leave-in conditioner oil and then cream this will be the cream I would put on. For example if I'm doing a flat twist or a double twist so let's say I'm after stretching out the hair first and then I'm going in I'm twisting it out I will put a generous amount of cream on that and then twisting it out so this will be quite good for wash and go clients or if you're doing styling as well I find this very good a lot of my clients love it they use it themselves and I can't fault this at all Millie moisturizing hair butter now you guys when it comes to hair butters hair butters are a lot richer than leaving in conditioners or creams so this in general inconsistency is quite thick if you can see it is very thick it is very rich it smells absolutely beautiful it does have that ginger extract in it we also have coconut and avocado oil in it Melly, Millie, whichever way you want to call it i find this brand quite good when it comes to type 4 hair they have a lot of amazing products that I do use on the salon floor. But when it comes to this cream butter, this is amazing for bantu nuts. Oh my God, if I have to do a bantu nut or 
whether it's a model or a client, this is what I reach out for. This is gonna give you an amazing hold without crunch. This will also help in to lock in moisture. So like that, if you're doing a wash and go technique, if you're doing your LOC, your laying products, and you want to really lock that moisture in, this would be your last step because LOC is all about locking the moisture into the hair by layering the products. And I do like this cream, my clients like this cream, Everyone I've worked is like this cream and this cream was actually recommended to me because I needed more products to work with and I didn't really know what to get and someone recommended Millie to me and I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna try it and I got a few products from it and the results were amazing. So do let me know in the comment section down below if you've tried this brand and what you thought about it and how you used it. Matrix Acryl Chem Dream Moisturizing Cream. When it comes to Matrix, this is a quite a new product that I only reviewed recently and I was quite impressed with it because of the amount of product that we get for the price now you guys me as a professional i can i only know what works to me on the salon floor and i found the matrix a curl can dream was actually very good so i did try it on type 3 hair and recently i did use it a lot on type 4 hair now this will not give you a crunchy like feel but what i really like about this product is like we do have the Manuka honey extract in it for extra hydration. It does add shine without that crunchy feel. But what I really like about this product is that you can layer it on. So it is quite light, but depending how much of it you need, you can really layer that onto the hair. It is quite good also for a double twist or a triple twist or a flat twist, but as well as wash and go techniques. Now, I would definitely use this more for wash and go because I find if I'm doing like a double twist or a twist out, I have to layer a lot more product in. But for example, if I'm using Millie or Shea Moisture, I don't need as much product. With this one, this one is a lot lighter. But if the product is a lot lighter, you have a lot more control with it, then that's why I like it. So it's quite handy to have because like that, everyone's hair is different and everyone's hair absorbs products differently so if the hair is less porous i would use this creme de jour fundamental by kerastase now you guys for regular viewers of mine you know that i'm a big fan of kerastase and this leaving in cream is no exception now the only problem with this is this is pricey for 150 ml of product i definitely think kerastase could have made this a lot bigger because as we all know if we have type 4 hair we need a lot of product so i mean you'll probably get two applications out of that three max. But I mean, when it comes to the formulation of Curl Manifesto in general, it's absolutely beautiful. I love this product for more wash and go techniques or just something quick. And also this is very good for refreshing. So the next day, so you can use this on dry and wet hair. And I find this actually works really, really well on dry hair. If you just need to add a bit more moisture into the hair and definition, because this is quite good for definition and hydration. Now it wouldn't be classified as a definition product, but I find it works well for definition for me when it comes to type 4 hair obviously it does not leave crunch but it gives that beautiful sheen and shine to the hair whichever way curl manifesto is formulated you actually don't need a lot of product i've used it on different types of hair and depending on the hair this is the amount of product you need but overall i do find that you don't need as much of it so just if we're going to compare it right so i'm just going to put a few of them side by side so first i'm going to get my Millie, which is a butter so i'm going to pop my butter over here so you can see the consistency is nice and thick i'm going to get my favorite sheer moisture leave-in in conditioner which is just slightly bit lighter hold on let me make the space for everything on my hand so we can see the different consistency so obviously this is the butter and this is our leave-in in conditioner and if we actually look at the manifesto this is a lot lighter and creamier and nearly gel like in consistency so they're all different consistency depending on the consistency you like so this one is a lot softer when this one is probably the heaviest and this one is like the middle and my hand is in bits curl expression leave it in moisturizer now you guys this is a very new addition to my collection when it comes to curly and coily hair and i absolutely love this product this is definitely a product i would use for wash and go techniques i wouldn't really use that for like let's say a knot and technique so if i'm doing a double twist or a flat twist or a bantu knot this is definitely 
more of a styling product when it comes to wash and go now you guys what i'm going to say about those two products is that those two products do have heat protection up to 230 degrees celsius which is very very important because like that if you let's say do a wash and go and then you're going to diffuse your hair or if you're going to go under the dryer you want your hair to be protected which that gives plus to this product this is brilliant for hydration and frizz control in the hair what's brilliant about this product also is that it shields the hair from humidity and i did find that actually very very good because it does actually work but when it comes to the actual consistency of it this is a lot heavier and gel and cream like so if you can see it is a lot creamier and jelly like so they're all different consistencies so you can really layer that product on but you don't need as much of it so you guys when it comes to my favorite creams for type 4 hair obviously this is my professional opinion and what works on my clients and what I find working on the salon floor working with type 4 hair is that especially when like when it comes to creams and butters I definitely find butters the best for bantu nuts and styling techniques like a double twist or a flat twist so definitely Melly or Shea Moisture are my go-to when it comes to everything because those are the products I can really rely on I definitely find that Melly gives me a lot more hold comparing to Shea Moisture but if you're looking for a good cream to twist out your hair those are the creams for you now when it comes to matrix and curl chem dream i think this is a really good product if you like layering your products and you like something light something that's not too heavy and that you can layer on upon so if you have let's say finer hair and you don't want to overweigh your hair this is quite good and if you're looking for something quick it is really handy just pop your hand in and put that product in when it comes to curl manifesto curl manifesto i like the texture of it and it is a nice hydrating product now it is good for wash and go but you could definitely pair that up with something else so sometimes what i would do which i would use this as a leaving in in my first step then put in an oil and then go in with like shea and moisture or just go in with this first then an oil and then add my curl expression so i do play around with it because every hair reacts to product differently and you need to nearly i found myself when i started working with coily hair is you nearly need to find a way of working with the hair and every hair reacts differently to a product so i might apply product i'm like mm, this is not working we need to change it and switch it around so all my clients would have a different combination of loc so it could be like col or lco and i always finish off with an oil at the very end for dressing it out now you guys do let me know in the comment section below have you tried those products what have you tried them for whether you've tried the loc technique whether you did try those products for a wash and go technique whether you tried those products for heat styling what products you like for your coily hair and let me know what brand should i try for coily hair because i need to try more and i want to try more anyways guys thank you for watching today's film i hope you found this film interesting helpful and useful please like share comment and subscribe to my channel also check out my other social media and of course you guys please 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 do what do take care bye